I'm Steve Spreester here. Your latest headlines and all clear at San Antonio International Airport after a monkey was on the loose for nearly two hours. The rhesus macaque monkey was on an American Airlines flight from Boston, was headed to the Born Free USA Primate Sanctuary in LaSalle County. But the monkey had other plans. It escaped its cage while it was being transported to the cargo area. The monkey was cornered in the baggage handling area outside Terminal B and was tranquilized. The airport has actually planned for scenarios like this. Aviation Director Rich Stenson says SA International is one of four airports in the country with a wildlife biologist on staff. Everything from helping uh, all of our airport teammates with, with pest control to keeping animals off of runways and taxiways. You know, if you're landing in a 737, you probably don't want to have a deer or a, uh, or a pig uh, on, on the runway. Stinson says the biologist comes in handy since the airport is so close to McAllister Park and a lot of animals try to make their way onto the airport grounds. Now, in a statement, American Airlines says they will investigate just how that monkey got loose. We're learning more about Friday's deadly school shooting in Santa Fe. At least two students tried to block the gunman from getting into a classroom before they were killed when the suspect shot through the doors. The 17 year old student charged in the shooting remains in solitary confinement, charged with capital murder. Friday's attack left eight students and two teachers dead. Texas Governor Greg Abbott will host the first of three roundtable discussions to address safety and security at Texas schools on Tuesday. A search underway right now for two men suspected of human smuggling. The Texas Department of Public Safety says the driver and passenger of this big rig took off running during a traffic stop about 830 Monday morning in Medina County. Those men have not been found inside the tractor trailer. Eight undocumented men. DPS says they were all fine, did not need medical attention. They were turned over to Border Patrol. It's all of our time for now. You can find the latest headlines on our KSAT on our KSAT.com website as well. You can follow us on Twitter and Facebook.